I look so white. What do I look so white for? We're back. So a lot has happened in the last year, and that is the last time I vlogged. So let's see. Um, we got married. We been in our jobs for the past year here in Vero Beach. We did move to an apartment. Uh, we moved to something a little bit bigger than the little cottage we were living in. Um, we got pregnant in February. Uh, it is now June, August. It's August 1st now. It's not July anymore. It's August 1st. So I have officially reached the third trimester. Um, we have Ian's cat now. So now we are a three cat household. Uh, what else? I feel like that basically sums it up, right? Yeah. Anyway, I'll touch base on all those topics eventually. But as for now, I need to hurricane prep because a hurricane is literally about to touch landfall tonight-ish um, here in Barrow Beach. Um, it's only a category one, so I'm not really stressing about it, but I don't know. I'm kind of like, I feel like I should do some preparations, I guess. Oof, that baby bump though. And Clover. Yep, no denying it anymore. No denying it anymore, Clover Bell. <sighs> Alright, let's go. It is currently Saturday morning. Skies are blue. Everything's sunny. Everything looks great. So honestly speaking, I don't have that much hurricane prep to do today. Um, I already have most, if not everything, that I would want if I was stranded in my apartment. Um, honestly, this weekend is really dedicated to revamping the apartment a little bit. It is a hot mess express it really is we moved into the apartment in february and that is the time period that we found out we were pregnant and i was so sick the first trimester i was literally in bed um we lived out of boxes during that time and then my second trimester rolled around and i'm sl i was slowly um decorating the apartment and stuff but i just haven't had a lot of energy Hit the third trimester, my energy is even worse. Um, however, I'm also in this nesting period too, where like I'm feeling extra motivated to get crap done. And we have a lot of stuff to do. So while Ian is gone, I figured that's the greatest time to purge and get rid of stuff and get crap done. Um, I love him to death, but he is a huge distraction at the same time. Um, it's kind of like having a kid around, you know, it's just, sometimes it's easier to just do it yourself. Uh, so I figured I would put together some piles for him, um, like a junk pile to take to the junkyard, um, and then we'll go from there. I did make him go through all of his clothes before he left, though, so at least there's that. But um, it is currently about 10 a.m. on Saturday. We're not expecting to get hurricane weather until tonight. Honestly, it's just going to be thunderstorms. Like, I'm really not worried about this at all. Um, we moved here from North Carolina, and the joke is, is that anything that's supposed to hit Florida always hits North Carolina instead and North Carolina always gets the worst end of it so I'm not really worried especially with a category one so um I'm just gonna try to enjoy my day a little bit before locking myself in the apartment for the rest of the weekend and with that said I really need to get my nails done so I'm gonna go do that real quick my week 28 pregnancy craving has been cran grape juice I mean, I've been kind of craving cran grape and cran apple juice throughout the, almost the whole pregnancy, but right now it's the main thing I want. So, this is my breakfast of champions right here. One hour later. So right now I'm at Walgreens um, to try to pick up my prescription. For those of you that do not follow me on social media, shameless plug right here. For those of you that don't already follow me on social media, you probably wouldn't already know about this, about my life, but I have some serious autoimmune issues going on. Um, my doctor still hasn't been able to officially diagnose me with anything. COVID has not helped with that at all because I can only do video chats with my doctor right now because she deals with people with autoimmune issues all year long and she's a little bit paranoid, which I don't blame her because we're more at risk to get COVID. So anyway, um, yeah, so I was prescribed hydroxychloroquine, I believe it's how you pronounce it, which is actually used as a drug to fight against COVID also. And so apparently it works very well. It has not been officially approved, I guess. I don't, I don't know the deal with that. Anyway, 
but it is in a high demand the supply is not there in the country but the demand is high so with that said there's a shortage and I went in last weekend to get my second prescription and um, even though my doctor had approved it already apparently my insurance put a freeze on it and so that means that my doctor had a call in and they're not open on the weekend so she had to wait till Monday so my doctor had a call in to my insurance and pre authorized that author author she had to reauthorize my pregnancy brain she had to reauthorize that this was essential for me to live basically um, my joint issues from having autoimmune problems is ridiculous like honestly like it hurts to bend my knees to go to the bathroom um, it hurts to pick up my cats specifically Nero but he's a fatty honestly um, very basic tasks and honestly like I kind of wanted to get a grasp on the situation at least a little bit before the baby came because if it hurts to pick up my almost 10 pound cat it's gonna be hurting to pick up my newborn child so I've just been struggling big time with that and Ian's been a huge help um, anytime I get on the floor to like clean anything or to t play with the cats or whatever I need help getting up half the time when I'm on this medication, however, like it hurts really bad to get up, but I can do it. Like I'm more independent and it just blows my mind how essential this really is for me to function a normal life. I'm in my 20s and never did I think that I would need pills to live a functioning lifestyle, but here we are basically. Um, but yeah, because this pill is in such high demand, um, I've been a week without them, so I'm in a lot of pain right now. I actually couldn't sleep through the night last night because I was in so much pain. So with that said, I've been on the phone with my insurance for the last like hour or so. They said that it should be good to go, so I'm about to go try to check that out to see if that's accurate or not. Hopefully it is because I can't do this anymore. It's not fun. Um, but yeah, that's just an update. It's Honestly, it's my life. I've accepted it. I started having issues late November, early December of last year. So 2019, we are in August 1st of 2020 now. So it's been a while. Um, we're finally doing something that works. I have tried a lot. I have tried like ice packs and um, icy hot bad patches thingies. Um, I've done physical therapy, occupational therapy. Neither of those work very well. Um, it's the pills and they've even put me on steroids for a while and that did nothing like at all so hydroxychloroquine is where it's at if that's even how you pronounce it but I don't know I, I honestly don't know what's wrong with me I just I've just kind of accepted it and I'm rolling with it at this point um, I do know that I have consistently low iron and I was low on vitamin D last time I had blood work done my potassium was low at one point um there's some other things my thyroids were off i don't know i don't know but uh, i thought it was really weird though that i had low vitamin d i mean i live in south florida but i guess you can kind of tell with my pale face that i i don't get out enough i guess but yeah i'm gonna go pick up my medication now so hallelujah 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 Hallelujah. A few moments later. Alrighty, so I just wanted to show you guys a few quick things that I do to prep for hurricane season in our household. Granted, this is the first hurricane that's hitting South Florida this year. So I haven't done everything that I think is necessary for most hurricanes because honestly, I hate to like downplay it in any way, but to me it's just a hurricane category one. And I just I don't think it's worth going crazy and buying a bunch of water and a bunch of toilet paper because I don't see myself being stranded at my apartment. And if something happens at the apartment, my job is probably within the next 10 minutes away and they got a buttload of water there. And I work for a roofing supply company and we're essential, so we are gonna have to work regardless. So it's kinda like, I know I'm gonna have electricity, I know I'm gonna have water, um, I'm gonna find a way to work somehow or another, even if I have a row myself. So it's kinda like, it's not worth stressing over, but it's worth being prepared for at the same time. Um, obviously, number one on your list should always be water. Um, you should have water at home, whether it's in water bottles or in those jugs. We have almost a whole case of water bottles, um, and it's just two of us. So 
Yeah, we're not going to be using all that, even with the next few days. And honestly, I'm here by myself this weekend. Ian is on the other side of the state for his reserves work. So, um, I don't need the whole case. Even with my cats, we will be okay, I promise. Um, pulling up my list. Usually, I would advocate for you always to have canned fruit because that's a good snack even whenever you don't have electricity. Um, I like pears. That's like one of my favorite things to snack on. Um, I'm not expecting this to be a big hurricane, so I don't even bother, honestly, because I don't expect myself to lose electricity. If I do, I will definitely vlog it and tell you guys that I was wrong, but don't think I will be. The canned fruit is also something very important that I think is just easy to have. Uh, cookies, crackers, chips, things that are easy to eat if you lose electricity, obviously. Um, simple foods regardless. Uh, we always keep spaghetti around. Pasta is always around. Uh, ramen. If you're stranded at home, what are you going to eat? But we have a whole kitchen and I'm by myself. So I didn't shop. I didn't see the point of it. Obviously, you want toilet paper. Um, I, we have a whole pack still. So only one person. I'm not worried about it. Duct tape is also something that uh, is handy to have, especially if it's a bigger hurricane because things happen. Uh, things get thrown to your windows. Uh, whenever I lived in North Carolina, we had part of a trampoline come through my mother's uh, bathroom window and her bedroom window. And so honestly, duct tape is one of the best things you could have for emergencies. So it's something I definitely recommend having. Uh, batteries. We keep two main types of batteries in stock. We have like the normal double A's. Um, I do advocate for the bigger ones just because we have a fan that's a battery operated fan and it only takes that battery. So if we lose electricity, we're going to want our battery operated fans. So I did get a couple extra packs today just in case. Uh, I figured if we don't use it for this hurricane, we will use it for another hurricane. Uh, let's see. I did go ahead and get another lighter. Um, my current lighter is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But just in case it it decides to die on me at some point, um, I've got a lot of candles and I've got a new lighter. So let there be light. Um, we also have a lot of windows in our apartment. So I'm going to have natural daylight throughout most of the day anyway. So I don't know, just something to think about. But I, I advocate for candles. Candles are just an easy, easy go-to option. Um, flashlights are also really good to have. We actually have one right here. I keep it on my fridge at all times. It's just an easy one to have. Um, I like it because you can also clip stuff to it. But um, it's an easy, easy flashlight. Keep it on the fridge just because I know where it's going to be at all times. So, put that back. What are some other things? I have my list on my phone. You can tell I'm very prepared for this. Uh, mosquito repellent is also a very common thing that should be on your list, uh, especially if you live in the south where those hurricanes hit because, God forbid, you lose um, your electricity or you have to go outside. Uh, you're going to want your mosquito repellent, especially with all the, the flooding. And ugh, I hate bugs. I hate bugs a lot. So bug spray is really good to keep. Cash is also really good. I went ahead and pulled out some cash just in case reasons, but it'll get spent like soon. But cash is good to have. Um, oh, another good thing to eat is nuts, just because you can't get old nuts. Gatorade is also good. We have some Gatorade. We have like half a case of Gatorade from Sam's. So like I said, I'm by myself. I won't drink all of that. Uh, and the last thing on my list for like us humans, I guess, is a battery operated radio. Um, I actually have one packed away somewhere. Need to find it. I didn't really stress about finding it this time around because not stressing about this hurricane honestly but I will find it soon because I have a feeling this is gonna be a busy hurricane season but I have a battery operated uh, radio that cranks so I can actually charge my phone with it too if I needed to um, I did used to have those uh, portable phone charger things those are really good to have also for in those reasons I did actually have to use that radio and the portable chargers during they want to say it was Hurricane Michael in North Carolina. I think it was last year, the year before that. I think it was two years ago now. But regardless, they did come in handy. I was by myself with a cat. So, something to think about. I don't know. 
Um, obviously, if you have animals, definitely have their medications handy, have their food handy. Um, I try to keep everything within proximity of each other, so if for any reason I need to evacuate really, really fast, that I can grab like a bag of food and their carriers, um, have everything ready to go. Um, as you guys saw earlier in this montage of videos, uh, I am taking certain medications right now. Uh, so most of the time they stay together in the bathroom anyway, but obviously I will have to include my uh, autoimmune meds with it. But uh, other than that, really just try to keep everything within proximity for the weekend. Um, I do that mainly just in case you have to evacuate for whatever reason. Um, I always keep like a basket together. It's really small. It's like a dollar at the dollar store, literally. And um, yeah, more batteries. But yeah, I always keep a little basket kind of already pre-ready for hurricane season. So whenever it's time for a hurricane to come. It won't take long to prep it, make sure everything's ready to go. But, uh, hate to downplay whatever, whatever hurricane is. Was it like Isaiah's, Isaiah's, I don't know how you pronounce it. Apparently it's hard to pronounce, so I'm assuming I'm pronouncing it wrong. But I'm not trying to downplay it, but not expecting much from it. So I didn't really, didn't really prepare too much. But that's what you should do for hurricane prep. Um, I used to live in Tampa when I was a kid, and then we moved to North Carolina, and then now I'm back here in Florida, so I'm used to hurricanes. But, uh, yeah, I've seen some good ones, I've seen some weak ones. This one's just looks like it's going to be a bunch of thunderstorms, so I'm not really stressing about it. But, yeah, with that said, I really need to clean this apartment, and I'm probably going to make that into a whole cleaning video um, to come up in about two days. So with that said, I'm going to end this vlog so I can start working on my next one. So if you liked what you saw with this video, um, please just consider subscribing. I am going to be making more vlogs. My goal is to make two a week um, and maybe more, but try not to be overly ambitious with work and I'm going to have a newborn soon, so that'll be fun. That's one of the main reasons I wanted to get back into vlogging is because I really want to record those family videos that I'm going to want to look back on in the years to come. Also, it's a great time period in our marriage, like we are newlyweds, so I'm trying to record everything um, because I know I'm going to be very sentimental about all this stuff 10 years from now. Um, but yeah, we, I will be posting some videos about our wedding, our bachelor, bachelorette weekend, uh, finding out how we, we were pregnant in the first place in February, um, telling our parents we have our baby shower next weekend, my sister's bridal shower is next weekend also. So we have a whole bunch of exciting stuff happening. So if you want to stay tuned, click on that subscribe button. Oh, also, I got a new camera. I'm still trying to figure it out, hence why I'm kind of all over the place right now. But it's one of those, it's, it's DJI Pocket. And it's really, really small. I might have to figure out, figure out a way to show you how small this thing is. It honestly reminds me of like a little Wally. -E, and it's really cute, honestly. But it kind of has a mind of its own. <laughs> So it's cool because I can move and I'm moving my hand right now and it looks smooth for the most part. Um, it tries to follow me, but I don't know if it will. Let me see. Are you going to follow me? No, it didn't follow me. But anyway, I'm still trying to figure it out. So I will give you a review on what I actually think about it uh, probably within the next couple weeks. But as of right now, I don't know. I honestly don't know how to work you, but you're cute, so. Okay, I'm really leaving now. Bye. Hallelujah. I should probably do that again because this is my address. With that said, did I say with that said twice? Probably. Anyway. What do you think about it? That's cool. Yeah. I don't, I don't see if the gimbal moves faster than it, it does, but if it does, it's not a big deal. It's Wally. It's just so cute. Yeah. Well, you know, when you're getting notified, well, that little bell will notify you. Oh, and that note. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop now. Okay. Right. Slow more, I wanna see your